Hello, I'm Dave Pleitzman, DJ Technologies. I'd like to show you a valve sequencer that we've developed for the biomass and the biofuels industry. It will allow you to collect gas from 16 different sources. It has programmable valve duration. It has auto purge, which is also programmable. There's an inlet for a nitrogen tank if you wish to purge with nitrogen. Also, it's available with an internal pump or there's a fitting for an external pump, also for purging. There's a output for valve identification. Each valve has its own specific voltage, so you can keep track of them. It also has a sleep feature up to 15 hours, which is also programmable, of course. So let's, uh, let's come in and I'll show you the controls of it and we'll take a little closer look at it. Okay, here we are looking at the front panel. As you can see, we have 16 LEDs across the top. These are valve indications as to which, uh, when each valve is activated. We have a digital rotary switches. This upper bank of switches, this selects the number of valves and also the duration for each valve. Right here is the uh, uh, is a hexadecimal switch. We can select from zero, actually select from one to 16 valves, and the duration is selectable from from one second out to 999 seconds. So this is approximately uh, uh, 16 minutes uh, per valve cycle. The lower bank of switches, this one sets the sleep time from zero to 15 hours. For normal operation you would keep sleep in zero. And this bank, this three bank of switches here, this is for the purge time. Again, this is in seconds, and it's selectable up to 999, which is six, about 16 minutes. Over here, we have a port, uh, which can function as an inlet to the actual, um, actual purge gas. Uh, it's ideal for hooking a nitrogen tank to it, and then you could set your purge at a couple seconds and uh, give everything a short, uh, short burst of nitrogen. Or you can, uh, um, we can activate an internal pump, or we have this lower fitting here. This is a uh, uh, just a simple quarter inch uh, plug, and we can put a uh, put an external pump on it. This LED indicates when the uh, purge valve is activated, and the toggle switch here is a manual purge. Over here on this side, we have another toggle switch. In the upper position, this is in the run mode. In the lower position, it is a reset hold. When you obviously when it goes into reset, it will uh, uh, and then when it restarts, it will start back at number one valve. And finally, the output here. This is another quarter inch plug. This gives you the voltage, the output voltage for each particular valve that happens to be on. That also includes a um, uh, the purge valve. So this will give you an idea of where you know where you happen to be in uh, uh, in, in your valve sequence. Let's put some power to this and uh, I'll put it through its paces and show you how it works. Okay, I've hooked, uh, hooked up an external purge pump. This is a uh, Thomas vacuum pump. We're using the, uh, we can use the, uh, uh, the pressure side of this. This is certainly a far more pump than what's needed. Since it's a 110 volt pump, I've got an electronic relay up here which will be driven by the signal coming out of the, uh, uh, coming off the purge valve. Incidentally, that is, all the signals going to the valves are 12 volt and they're capable of a 2 amp, uh, uh, two amp output. Over here we've put a fluke digital voltmeter on the output of the valve identification uh, uh, plug and I've got power to it but I currently have it in, uh, in reset hold and we'll bring it up here and there we can see we have an indication of number one valve that has activated and we have this in a uh, 15 second valve cycle and a five second purge cycle in the interest of time here I think we're going to take it out of 15 seconds for the valves I just switched it over to a five-second valve cycle. 
as you can see, we're from our indication on these LEDs, we're cycling right through the uh, right through the valves, and also on the on the voltage as we go up through the valves. Each valve puts out a different voltage. The voltage will increase about uh, there's roughly a quarter of a volt between uh, uh, between in each individual valves. As you can see, it's uh, it's stepping up through here. When you use this in conjunction with a uh, with a DJ analyzer, the valve identification voltages are in one of the columns on XL, and here, let's shut this thing off. I think you get the idea. Anyway, uh, the valve identification voltages go into a column in XL, and there's a uh, uh, there's a XL um, if then function that can be written so each individual each individual valve data is copied to a separate column and uh, regardless of whether it's the same uh, gas voltage or not uh, correction same uh, gas um, you have you have the abilities to separate the location I've got a uh, got a client at uh, up at the university he's using this on his uh, on his fermenter and uh, he was able to uh, collect data from from carbon dioxide data from both the inlet and the outlet of the fermenter he was able to separate inlet and outlet carbon dioxide into separate columns on XL he was also able to graph them so the valve sequencer with the voltage ID feature made that possible let's uh, step this up to uh, 16 valves and you can see what it's uh, what it's capable of doing okay I just uh, reset the uh, number of valves right here to 16 which is F on this uh, hexadecimal switch I've got it in uh, reset hold there we're into uh, into the run mode now and as you can see the indication for the number one valve just activated and it will uh, it'll step right up the line Note the voltage increase as we go through the uh, through the banks of valves. The sequencer is also useful in your uh, in your system if you have if you're dealing with uh, uh, some corrosives. Uh, this can go on the back side of an analyzer, where your analyzer would continuously measure methane, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and hydrogen if 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 you uh, have a hydrogen sensor in it and uh, uh, then you can feed the output of the analyzer into the sequencer and use the sequencer to periodically route the output gas through a uh, through a sensor say uh, an H2S sensor and uh, collect some gas data and then go into the purge mode and then you could go into the sleep mode so it could wake up every 8 to 12 hours or however many hours you uh, you set it and uh, collect your data uh, it'd also be good in a uh, um, in an algae application where you don't have a lot of gas to mess with and uh, uh, you can't be constantly pulling off your gas and running it through your analyzer and measuring it. You can use the sleep mode for this. So there's uh, there's a lot of capabilities with this system. take it up to uh, 16 valves and uh, then shut her down. Here's the uh, 12 volt purge pump that uh, we can put this inside this uh, this sequencer. There's plenty of room in there and uh, obviously be a replacement for this uh, for this Thomas pump. Also if necessary you can tap the outputs and uh, uh, some of the valves and possibly run something else you know again uh, uh, you've got a switch in there that handles uh, 12 volts at 2 amps so uh, there's uh, there's a lot of potential and a lot of capability there we are there's number 16 and as you can see you have 
almost four volts output on the number 16 valve. We're back into uh, purge, and then we'll start all over again with the number one valve. I think you get the idea. Let's turn this around and I'll show you the back side of it and uh, let you see the, uh, uh, the valve ports. Here's a shot of the back side of this uh, valve sequencer. As you can see, it's pretty much self explanatory. There's the output that would go to the analyzer, power switch, of course, or power connector, and we have the inlets. Numbers 1 through 8 on the top bank, and numbers 9 through 16 on the bottom bank. Let's take the covers off real quick, like, and uh, let you take a look inside. Okay, here's a quick look down inside of this uh, sequencer. As you can see, we have the banks of the, uh, of the individual valves. There's our purge valve. Right here is the 12-volt power supply. Incidentally, that will run on uh, 220 volts, so if you have uh, applications over, overseas, why um, this will handle anything, I think, from uh, 90 to 250. And this is the back side of the processor board, and right here, these white connectors, these are where the actual valves themselves actually connect to the processor board. And up in here, these are the back sides of the uh, valve indicating ID um, LEDs for valve identification. I think that pretty well covers it. If you have any questions or comments on this, please get back with me by email at dj at earthlink.net. That's d-e-j-a-y-e at earthlink.net. I'm Dave Peitzman, DJ Technologies. Thank you for watching.